Well, I am here with my little friend Dylan, uh, and I thought it would be a fun thing to teach you guys how to do um, little things. So I'm going to be doing some Kelly B tips and tricks. Uh, and the first one that we're going to start off is actually baby food, which is kind of fun, which, which will incorporate, uh, incorporate her in a little bit. Um, but one of the things, it's really easy, if you're making vegetables for yourself, you can steam them and food process them really quickly. They're easy to store in the freezer, in a jar in the refrigerator. And I know that you have so many things on your plates as mommies, and so I completely understand, but it really truly is easy. You can get a lot of different types of produce. Organic produce is usually very sweet, especially with carrots. We're doing carrots today. You can do peas, you can do applesauce, you can make that in the slow cooker, you can do pears, yes, Dylan, pears, even, and bananas. All the fruits, all the veggies, peas are very easy to do as well. So what we do is, of course, you prepare the uh, carrots just like you would regularly. You cut them up into smaller sizes. The smaller you cut things and microwave them, the, uh, the faster they will cook. And that's true of whether you're doing it in a, in a pot, in one of these cool little containers or even in a bowl with saran wrap. Um, and so those are the three ways that you can really do it. I have done it, yes, Dylan agrees. I have done it in this little uh, glass container. They come in different sizes. They're Pyrex. They're very inexpensive. They're like, un the small ones are under $8. The big ones are under like 10, 15, something like that. It's not too much. If you don't have these and still want to do it in the microwave, just get you a bowl, put everything in the bowl, and then you will just plop it in. Let me show you actually, because we've got some here. So we're just going to put this into the bowl or into the Pyrex, chop it into, you know, just medium size pieces. You could also do this with uh, those little baby carrots that everybody loves so that you don't have to, you can skip a step. You then pour in a tablespoon of water. This is what's gonna help steam it in the microwave. Um, just one tablespoon. That's pretty much any size you have that will work. You cover this up, kind of loosely, not crazy tight. And then you wanna just punch like just a few holes, just teeny tiny little holes. Dylan, we're almost done. Anyway, pop this in the microwave and you can cook it for about a minute then you want to do 30 second increments and test it with a fork to see if it's done. So like with this one, we have these that I already did and they are fork tender, um, which is perfect. Now, if you are doing different vegetables, so like spinach is gonna cook crazy fast, peas, crazy fast. Uh, carrots are gonna be a little more dense, so they're gonna take a little longer but that's the only difference. So then all you do, the, do, the two different ways that you can, you know, like grind them up is in a food processor, you can also do a blender. You can go ahead and add any of the liquid that is in there. I also wanna say that usually the, the general term with baby food is you don't wanna add seasoning. You notice I didn't put any salt or anything in it um, because baby's palates are pretty pretty bland at this stage and so you really want to kind of slowly introduce things like salt um, sugar things like that so all we do is we're just gonna pulse this up till it gets to a smooth consistency Ooh, that was fun oh Dylan is in rapture oh yeah That's some fun stuff. and then of course you're going to want to push the sides down the other way that you could do this is, like I said, in a blender. And then you could also do it uh, with the thunder stick. That's what my sister and I called it when we were growing up. Uh, but this is the Cuisinart Immersion Blender, and it's really great, and you can just like zhuzh it, and it's wonderful. Um, it's fun, isn't it? So these are the things that you can do, and then you can see it starts getting into a softer and softer blend and depending on how old your baby is if she's already starting to eat harder food you can have a few little teeny tiny chunks in there um, and just keep it pretty simple and then we're gonna cool it off and see what she thinks there it is she's like I don't know about this 
that's how you can do some of these things that are pretty quick and easy and it didn't take very long it just takes a little bit of time which I know you're all short on but this is a fun and easy way that you can get your other kids involved in cooking and these are some of the tips that I'll be having here and there and then also of course I'll be teaching classes so if you're interested in more about this or anything else just keep looking and ask me if I'll do a class on something and I likely will have a great day